Hey GED students, we are working on the beginning level practice of Crash Course Unit Zero Lesson One. That's the basic operations. And again, we're focused on what we really need to know for the GED, which is vocabulary and writing in the language of math. So let's go ahead and take a look. It says, write the quotient of 20 divided by 80 as an arithmetic expression. Okay, so first just stop panicking. What does it mean to write an arithmetic expression? expression. Literally, I'm just asking you to write in the language of math. Now, you might say, well, what's the language of math? You know, we use numbers and symbols. We don't tend to use words if we can help it. That's what I'm saying, okay? Um, I'm not telling you to, like, do the math. I'm just asking you to write it down in my language. Okay, so what do I want you to write down? I want you to write down the quotient of 20 divided by 80. And the directions on the worksheet said translate each phrase into an arithmetic expression. Same difference. Write it in my language. Translate it into my language. Okay. But the trick here is to know a couple of things. One is to know what the quotient means. But it's kind of easy to know what the quotient means because I have to use this phrase to indicate order. So quotient means division. I'm going to divide something. Now, I'm a mathematician. I could certainly use the division sign that we we're using in, in, you know, third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade. That's fine. But mathematicians more often use a fraction, which, guys, I still feel like you guys should see that that's the same thing. Because look at the division symbol. Doesn't it kind of look like number, fraction bar, number? <laughs> yeah. And that's what we're going to write. Number, fraction bar, number. But anyway, I don't care which symbol you use, okay? You're going to get the same answer anyway. I'd prefer if you practice using that one. But the key here is I actually did try to trick you with this problem. And the way I tried to trick you is that most students really, really, really want to take the bigger number, 80, and divide by the smaller number, 20. But that's not what this expression says. Order matters in division. Take a look at what it does say. It says we want the quotient of 20 divided by 80. Like it or not, that's what they want you to write. You say, I don't know how to take 20 and divide it by 80. Well, don't freak out for two reasons. One, if you had this on the GED, you'd have your calculator. Your calculator knows how. But two, I didn't ask you to, all right? The directions on the worksheet even say do not simplify. All I'm asking you to do is write out the expression. You guys use the word problem when you talk about an expression, but... Yeah, that's the expression right there, the numbers and the symbols. That's all I'm asking you to do. So you can write it like that, or you can write it like a real mathematician, 20 divided by 80. And you go, oh my God, it's a fraction, kid. I don't know what to do. I didn't ask you to do anything. Breathe. I just asked you to write it as an expression. We're done. We're done. We're done. That's it. So write that answer. Uh, like a, I don't know, fourth grader, or write this answer like a mathematician. Either way, you've translated into an arithmetic expression. But what I don't want you to do, listen up, this would be wrong. Don't write, oh, whoops, I even put it in the wrong order. That's not what I'm trying to stress. Don't use that lovely little like division house thing that you're used to from elementary school um, that says 80 divided into 20 or 20 divided by 80. It's it's doing the same work. OK, it's not like that doesn't mean the same thing as the other things. But what it isn't, it isn't an arithmetic expression. This is not a mathematical symbol that we just read. This is just a way that your elementary school teachers had you organize your work in order to try to do the computation. This is your scratch work. This is not work. This is not like writing in the language of algebra. It's not, it doesn't have the grammar. It doesn't have my language. All it is is like mm, a way of organizing your work on your scratch paper. Okay, so don't write that. Write one of these two that I have circled. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.